If you have a good trading track record on the Darwin X platform, at some point, you're probably going to want to create a Darwin from your trading strategy. Why? Because this is the key to opening two fantastic opportunities that will enable you to be rewarded financially for your trading skills and knowledge. Firstly, a Darwin will enable you to start competing in the monthly seed capital allocation program, Darwinia. And secondly, you can start to attract third-party investor capital. The profit you make on both of these will mean you earn performance fees. Remember, it's completely free to create your Darwin, so there are many benefits of doing it without any downsides. Some traders ask the question, why is it necessary to have a Darwin? Why can't I just use the results directly from my trading account? I'll answer this question at the end of the video. But first, let's see what the process of creating your Darwin looks like. Fortunately, it's quick and simple to do. Before you're able to create your Darwin, there needs to be sufficient track record for the Darwin X risk engine to calibrate the risk of the Darwin. This currently takes a minimum of 15 trading days, but it will depend on how frequently you trade and the number of trading decisions you make per day. If you trade fairly infrequently, maybe only taking one trade every three or four days, then it will take longer than the 15 days to gain sufficient data to create the Darwin. But I'll show you how to easily track progress so that you know exactly where you are in the process. When you first create a new trading account, there won't be any data available at this point. But as you start to open and close trades, your track record on the platform will begin to grow. Don't worry when you don't see the platform update immediately after making a trade. This is completely normal. At this stage, the return chart and progress bar only update overnight. So wait until the following day and you should see the metrics appear. When your Darwin is eventually created, its return, of course, will be updated almost real time. But that frequency isn't required for your account at this stage. And remember, you can always see exactly how much progress you've made so far by clicking here. As the track record appears, you'll also notice some other initial metrics begin to appear on the Assets and Timeframes tab and the Trading Journal tab. As your track record continues to grow further, you'll begin to see even more metrics. We call these investable attributes, and they provide more information and metrics to help investors choose the Darwins they wish to invest in. Once you have sufficient track record for the risk engine to work with, you'll see the progress bar disappear and this message in green appear telling you that you're now able to create your Darwin. A couple of things to note here. Firstly, if you import your track record from another broker, then you might already have sufficient track record for us to work with, and you won't need to wait for that to build like we've just seen. Secondly, note that you'll need a minimum of €1,000 or British pounds in your trading account before you'll be able to create your Darwin. Once you're ready to proceed, click on the Create Darwin button, and you'll then be asked to choose your Darwin's ticker code. This will uniquely identify your Darwin and is how it will be listed in Darwinia. It's also what investors will use to identify and track their investments. Make sure you read the terms and conditions and after agreeing to these, click confirm. Darwins only get created over the weekend when the markets are closed. You'll be given a date when we anticipate your Darwin will be available. The status here will change to Darwin in progress, and all you need to do now is wait until the date we specified. If all goes to plan over the weekend, you'll get a notification and see a link to take you to your Darwin here. Your Darwin is now ready to participate in Darwinia, and also available for investors to view and invest if they choose. Now let's address the question I raised earlier. Why is it necessary to have a Darwin to compete in Darwinia and attract investor capital? There are a few reasons, but these mostly revolve around standardizing risk. You see, different traders have different appetites for risk. Some are very cautious, while others are more aggressive. Neither of these is wrong, of course. It comes down to what works best for you. However, Investors seek clarity and assurance over what the risk to their capital is. And so the Darwin X risk engine standardizes the risk of all Darwins so that they're comparable. The risk adjusted returns then provide a much clearer comparison for investors when they're constructing their Darwin portfolio. 
Likewise, the Darwin provides a much fairer comparison between strategies in Darwinia. Because all Darwins have approximately the same risk, the returns that are then achieved on the Darwin in any given month are a much fairer indication of trader skill and avoid lucky months for aggressive risk takers skewing the leaderboard. For a much more in-depth explanation of the Darwin X risk engine and the concept of Darwins, see other videos on our YouTube channel. And if you have any other questions, you can contact our friendly and professional customer service team using their email info at darwinx.com. You can see a link to our next recommended video on screen now.